What's up, everybody? Weston Hockwitz here back at PackersNews.com, joined alongside our draft expert, Pete Doherty. Today we're looking at the linebackers inside and outside. Going to start with the inside spot, Pete. Very important for the Packers. Last year they really, really ran the chorus of players there through injuries and, and really just inconsistency. That looks like a spot in the early rounds they could look at some guys. I know C.J. Mosley from Alabama, also Ryan Shazier from Ohio State really have kind of separated themselves as the top two. Yeah, I would think those are the only two inside guys that have a chance to go in the first round. Uh, I think they both probably will. It sounds like Mosley's more likely to go higher, um, but he has some injury issues. Um, the one guy I talked to likened him to Navarro Bowman, so if he's that good, then he's worth taking really high. Yeah. Uh, other, you know, another person or two like Shazier a little better because he's he's smaller, but he's really fast and explosive. Uh, either could fit in the Packers defense. Um, it just depends on you know they they need a dynamic playmaker. I don't know if Mosley's there at 21, so uh, Shazier will be, have to be somebody they think pretty seriously about if he's still there. Do you have any trepidation or reservations about Shazier moving to an inside linebacker spot at 3-4? Do you think that's pretty natural for him? Uh, the guys I talked to didn't seem to think it'd be a problem. He's 6'1", 237. I don't know if he's going to get much bigger. That's you know that's not very big for in there. Um, but with the speed and playmaking, the guys I talked to thought that he'll be okay as long as you know he's you need that three four to keep uh, the defensive lineman or the offensive lineman off him. One guy that probably will not be there for the Packers, no matter how many times you'd redraft this thing, is Jadavian Clowney. Uh, outside linebacker, is that looking like a spot that could be natural for him? Could Houston look to move oh, on to that defense? He, he, it sounds like he can do either. Uh, it sounds like he's the most talented guy in the draft. Almost everybody who I've asked that question about has, has said, yeah, not almost everyone has said he's the uh, most talented guy in the draft. Uh, but there were caveats. He's not uh, not even like a, a couple guys I talked to said he's not even as good as Julius Peppers was coming out. So while there's a ton of talent there and the best guy, um, you know, I don't know if he's – of that caliber, when at least when Peppers was in his prime. All right, check out Pete's story on the linebackers in print and also at PackersNews.com. And until next time, for Pete, I'm Wes. We'll see you later.